Hello! Welcome to Junior Church! Look what I've just found in the cellar. A bag full of sweets. These crisps. Gummy bears. Chocolate. More gummy bears. And even this little box. Can you keep a secret? I'm going to... Who's there? Hi Tia, it's Tom. Oh, hello Tom, what a nice surprise. What are you doing here? I'm running junior church today. Oh, we're all looking forward to see what you've prepared. Hello everybody, it's nice to see you again. To everyone who doesn't know who I am, my name is Tom and this is my shirt. I usually meet all my friends here, but some of them sadly can't be here today because they are still at school. Oh, listen, someone's coming. Hello, I'm Anna. And I'm Max. Nice to see you all. Oh, isn't it wonderful that we can be all together? We've got so much free time on our hands and oh, just like heaven. Heaven for me would also include many, many books. Just like a giant library. I would read all day long, maybe just like this. There's no illness and everybody is healthy in heaven. Max, did you know that when people in the Bible talk about heaven, they usually don't mean a place filled with sweets or full of books? That's interesting, tell me more. You know that I'm new at this. You can also call it Kingdom of God. Picture heaven as God's space and the earth as our space. We know what our earth looks like. Trees, mountains, rivers. But we really can't imagine God's space. But Jesus tries to explain what it is like. You can read this in the Bible. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like this. A man takes a mustard seed and sows it in his field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but when it grows up, it is the biggest of all plants. It becomes a tree so that birds come and make their nests in its branches. Does this mean that the kingdom of God starts very small but grows very, very big like this mustard seed? Yeah, that's right. I have an idea. Let's plant flowers. I've still got seeds somewhere. Yeah, woohoo! What a great idea! We need water, a flower pot, soil, seeds and a shovel. You'll need to find out what soil is best for your seeds. When you've got it, fill your flower pot with the soil and also put your seeds into the soil. Then give more soil into the flower pot to cover up the seeds. And finally it 
it's now time to water your seeds. As you can see, Tom was also quite excited because he hopes that it will help the bees. That was great! We've now got to wait a few days or weeks and then we'll have great flowers or plants. Yes, I'm also looking forward to seeing them. Thea planted sunflowers a while ago and they've grown so big. Let's see. Yes, it is. That means God's kingdom will be huge. Is there another story about it? Yes, there are quite a few more. One of them is about a treasure. Do you want to hear it? Yes! Jesus said, a man happens to find a treasure hidden in a field. He covers it up again and is so happy that he goes and sells everything he has and then goes back and buys that field. Wow, God's kingdom is so valuable like a treasure. On that note, Thea just told me that she prepared a treasure hunt for us. Wow, exciting! How cool is that? Woohoo! Let's go! Thea hid a few signs in the area and we had to do little tasks. One, two, ten. Go Max! You can do this! The cats decided to take part in our treasure hunt too. At this point we sadly lost the cats, 
because they misunderstood the sign and walked into the wrong direction. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Five, four, three, two, one. There it is, the treasure. But oh, Max and Tom can't find it. Can you help them? Yoohoo! We found the treasure! We found the treasure! Thanks for helping us! And now we're enjoying all the sweets in the treasure. So, God's kingdom is worth looking for because it is like a treasure. Did I understand this right? Yes, and it's even better than that. But what do I have to do in real life to find it? First of all, the kingdom of God is accessible and open for all. It doesn't matter whether you are a boy or a girl, whether you are rich or poor, young or old. God's kingdom arrived with Jesus on earth. God's space and our space can sometimes overlap. What does this mean? When people in the time before Jesus came into the world wanted to be in the presence of God, they had to go into the temple and they had to sacrifice an animal. This sacrifice somehow absorbed all your sin. But now that Jesus died for us, he can forgive all our sins and we don't even have to go to a specific place for that. That's amazing! I didn't even know that! The goal is that someday heaven and earth will fully overlap again. And the kingdom of God is not like a militaristic kingdom with soldiers and weapons. It's a kingdom full of peace, love and meekness. Wow, I've learned quite a lot today. Thanks Tom and Anna. I want to be a part of this kingdom. And I'm going to look for it, just like we looked for the treasure. That's wonderful, Max. Yes, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this junior church and all the fun we've had. Thank you, Jesus, that you forgive all the bad things I've done. Help us to find your kingdom here on earth and be part of it. Amen. Thanks for being part of this junior church today. We've had lots of fun. Hope you have a great day. Bye. 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 I hope you also had lots of fun with this junior church. And have a great Sunday. Bye.